We are Ben, Jamie, Barry and Mike, the guys at the heart of sorted food. In this series of videos, we look at some of the most popular recipes that feature Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. You've read the title, and you're probably thinking, as am I, how do you make cheese on toast ultimate? It's a handful of British ingredients, including a splash of Liam Perrin's. I promise you, this is the ultimate version. You're gonna love this one. It starts off with a roux, which is butter and flour. We cook that out with plenty of ale and then add the flavors of whole grain mustard, plenty of grated cheese, obviously, a bit of cream to enrich it, and the Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Serve all that on top of some sourdough bread and you've got a winner. Sound good? Sounds ultimate. It is indeed. Right, starts off with our butter and as soon as that's melted down, we can add in the flour. Mm -hmm. Equal ratio, so another 25 grams. All that's gonna do is cook out to make like a roux. It's okay. a paste. And it's the roux that differentiates the rare bit from traditional cheese on toast. So what difference is that going to have to the taste? Well, it means that we can add in all of our other flavours. Okay. So next up, our ale, and this is a pale ale. That's going to go in a little bit at a time. Same as you would make a bechamel, which we'd normally do with milk. So while I'm cooking up this, Mike, if you can take our cheese. Can. Another British one, cheddar. If you can just grate that up. I see the reoccurring theme here. We're very British based, aren't we? Cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, Lean pairs Worcestershire sauce, obviously yeah. from Worcester. An institution. Now look at this, that's the kind of consistency you're looking for. And then you can start adding in all of our extra flavours. So we've got a little bit of whole grain mustard. English? It's not English mustard, is it? Uh, it's not English mustard. So, well, you've gone against the thing then. Uh, but it's whole grain, I want those specs. Okay. See those specs, that's kind of what you want. Texture. And if you want any of the ingredients, weights and measures, they're all available in the link down below. Next up, we're gonna enrich this with an egg yolk. So that's gonna go in. A little glug of cream it is the ultimate cheese on toast, so that's what we're going for. And it's very difficult to make a single portion. Where cheese on toast you might, but if you make this, it keeps, you can put it on top of fish, you can put it on top of chicken. Perfect. It's great for other things as well, and it'll keep in the fridge for weeks, so no trouble. How's that cheese coming along? Really well, I've done a cracking job. Perfect, and it looks like a huge amount, but that will all melt down. Our next ingredient makes this perfect. A little bit of Liam Perrins, okay? And a splash of this goes a long, long way, so a good couple of tablespoons, because you really want that to kind of kick through. And while we wait for that cheese to melt completely and it will come nice and smooth, Mike, can you grab our sourdough bread and cut some slices? And I think if you cut them on the diagonal, okay. then we get bigger slices. Yeah, this is ultimate after all. Obviously go for whatever bread you prefer, but I think sourdough and cut it chunky is a really good choice. What we need to do is toast one side first, so we'll lay them onto a grill tray, get them under a hot grill for a minute or so until they go nice and golden. Then we can turn them over and place our hot sauce over the top. And this, that's what I was saying earlier, this is the stage that you can let that set up in the fridge and use it another day. Now I'm intrigued as to who discovered that Liam Perrins works really well with cheese on toast. I think you can just, you know it's going to be a flavour that works because of the cheese, the richness of the cheese and the tartness or piquancy of the sauce. Yeah. You know it's a great combination, but who first came up with it? Who knows? No. Jamie thought it was him. No. There you go. At this stage, we've got one nice crisp bottom, but the top still soft, and that's where we can place all of our Welsh rarebit. It's so shiny, that's nice. Well, that's the gloss of the egg yolk and the cream. You can see the whole grain mustard and you can smell the ale and the impairing. So it's got a little bit of everything in there. Be quite generous with that. And then it goes back under the grill for another couple of minutes until it bubbles and it's nice and golden. And then we can serve it. Loves his shrubbery. <laughs> and there it is, an ultimate cheese on toast with a splash of Liam Perrins, sorted. That really is fantastic. And for more great recipe ideas, click below.